。周一長談，同你深入時事話題。我哋而家又翻嚟同大家一齊同啊 ，Mr. John McCollin 一齊傾下我哋二零一四年。誒啱啱公布準備二零一四年嘅移民政策，頭先同大家傾過嘅咧，就主要就係、是、整個方向、整個大體嚟講的話，我哋雖然方向可能係正確，但係喺投,投入嘅資源同埋執行嘅效力上面，始終都係不令人滿意嘅地方有好多。咁而家跟住落嚟咧，誒 ，I would like to switch to the、uh, one of the more、uh, the, 今日咧聯邦政府係將全世界。啊！誒，移民佢哋想佢哋嘅資料，佢哋嘅條件，冚唪唥有一個資料庫，然之後呢個資料庫咧，同我哋加拿大僱主需要嘅人才嘅庫做一個配合，然之後嚟 match， 咁樣大家就誒、呃、就比較清楚，唔會話坐喺樹。我哋亦唔知道我嘅未來如何，大家至少喺電腦上面可以睇到曬呢個供供需人手上上面嘅一個資料。So in general, again, what is your take of this expression of interest system? Will it really help what the、uh, what the、uh, conservative government said、uh, will solve the deadlock? Will solve the problem of people coming here and can't find a job? Well, look, I'm a liberal and they're conservative, but I have to say, in principle, I think it's a good idea, because if you have people making inquiries, and then if they're in an area where there seems to be demand for their services, and then you allow them to go forward, you should get a more efficient system that more of the people who apply will indeed get accepted and will indeed find jobs, whereas if everybody in the planet can apply. You'll get a big mix, and many of them、mm -hmm. uh, will not have a chance, but they will take time to be processed. So, I think it's a good idea in theory, but as one says, the devil is in the details.、Yeah. It all depends on whether they implement it and set it up in terms of the details in a way that is efficient. I mean, if they set up the preferred occupations that really are the ones in demand, then that will work well. But if they get it all mixed up and set up and favor professions that aren't really needed as much as they think,、mm -hmm. then it will not work well. So I think before we can come to a general conclusion, we have to see the details of how it is to be implemented. And I'm on the immigration committee in Ottawa and、yeah. the House of Commons, and I'm hoping we will see the details, and then we'll be able to come to a more balanced assessment of how we think it's actually going to work. But in principle, I would say it is a good idea.、Uh, but in practice, it will depend on the details of how they plan to do it. And now that you are sitting in the committee of immigration, I think there's a good things that you、yeah, you can have some input in it. But I think. A lot of our audience, when we speak in the past about the how how things work and how policies was made in Ottawa,、uh, when you as an opposition, when you're sitting in the committee of immigration, do you have the chance to put give your input before the policy is set, or usually the the governing party who said, yeah, this is what we got to do? It's a mixture. They are a majority government, and they were elected that way, and、uh, mm -hmm. that's their right. So they do have the power just to say no and、mm -hmm. to do whatever they want. And if there's a controversial subject they don't want to hear, they'll just say, "Okay, we won't hear it." Or else, if it's controversial, they'll say, "Okay, we'll go in camera," which means it's private and nobody、mm -hmm. else gets to hear. So that kind of shenanigans they they do go on. But even if the government doesn't agree, we have the right as opposition members to write minority reports. Minority reports. So report, we do、yeah. have the opportunity to、mm. get our view in public,、mm. not perhaps as much as we would like to,、mm. but we do have some opportunity to do that. Yes.、Yeah. 
呃、我諗我突然間會拆開啲啲話題，最主要就係、是呃、大家亦都周時都聽到就話誒邊個政策而家係喺某某個委員會嗰處喺處傾緊，到底嗰啲委員會做咩？咁作為反對黨，佢哋到底影響嘅對呢個政策嘅影響執行過程有啲咩嘢？有冇真係可以做到嘅呢？所以今日好高興聽到啊 ，Jamie Collins 能同我哋講就話佢哋即使到時候佢哋都可以有一個、呃呃、反對黨或者。minority 嘅一個 report 對一個政策嘅一個睇法同取向，所以我哋大家如果對呢啲政策能夠注意的話，平時可以喺誒國會嘅網站上面度去多睇呢啲消息，亦都可以聽到正反政府同埋啊誒在野嘅佢哋唔同嘅睇法。Today our focus is on the、uh, immigration, but Having such a heavy weight of Liberal Party critics here, I really want to have a. I, will, I want to change the subject a bit, and I'm quite sure that our audience will be very interested. Is that usually it is the oppositions who will attack the government, but recently we have seen in the past couple of weeks、uh, the the. The opposition was being attacked by TV or radio uh, 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 advertisement, and I would like to have a chance for our audience to listen to from your side of the story. Is that is your party, <laughs> Marijuana Party? <laughs> well, what we are proposing is that we better regulate and control the sale of marijuana. And I think I just said I agreed with the conservatives on expression of interest for immigration. I totally disagree with them on what they're saying about marijuana,、mm -hmm. because right now, right now in British Columbia today, any kid from school can go across the street and get as much marijuana as he or she wants. It's readily available on the streets for any age group. It's easier to get marijuana if you're 15 years old than it is to get cigarettes or alcohol.、Mm -hmm. Our system. Would make the purchase of marijuana like the purchase of alcohol or cigarettes. You'd have to go into some licensed store. You'd have to prove you were 19 or whatever the age is, as you do for cigarettes and alcohol, in order to be able to buy it. You take it out of the hands of organized crime, and you would regulate it.、Mm -hmm. So it's not 100%. 15 year olds can get alcohol and cigarettes if they have a 19 year old friend and they buy it. They could still do that. So it's not 100%. But it would be a lot less access for teenagers、mm -hmm. for marijuana under our system, which is regulated, than it is under today's system, which is a free for all. Well, I would like to、uh, get into a little bit more terminology because a lot of time, like when you say regularize it, that is very clear. There's less less room for misinterpretation. Why do we not use regularization? Regulate. Regulate it. Regulate it, it, it and just say that legalize it. Well, I'm using the terms regulate and control because、yeah. that's what it is. It's legalizing for some people to purchase under those conditions. If let's say if you're over 19,、mm -hmm. you can get it anyway.、Mm -hmm. But but this is making it legal. But the main point is that we're regulating and controlling the sale, and a major impact of that will be to make it more difficult, not less difficult, for 14-year-olds, 16-year-olds to get it than is the case today. Because no longer will they be able to buy it from some organized crime person on the street or in the fast food restaurant. They will have to go to a licensed, government-sanctioned salesperson. And buy it just as if they were buying a pack of cigarettes or a bottle of beer. So, contrary to、uh, the one perception, is that、uh, that the, your party is、uh, encouraging people to smoke pot? Is that it's trying to find ways and means to regulate it and make it、uh, the controllable? Exactly. Yeah. We are regulating, controlling it, reducing the access for teenagers and. Even people less than teenage, and at the same time, we're taking the money and the control out of the hands of organized crime, and we're putting it into the hands of government, as is the case for sales of cigarettes and alcohol today. So,、uh, the, 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 to regulate marijuana, it has been it, it has been the talk in town for many many years. Why now? What? Why? Why? Why is this? Uh, I, think the, I think the situation evolves. 
Mm. When we were in government back in 2005, we had a proposal to decriminalize it mm. so that a young person who was convicted of possessing a small amount of marijuana would no longer have a criminal record which barred that person from entering the United States or barred mm. that person from becoming a lawyer. We think that was inappropriate. So back then, that's eight years ago, we were on the side of uh, decriminalizing it. Now, in the last eight years, much has changed. In the United States, not so long ago, mm. it was anathema. It was impossible, anything to do with marijuana. Now we have two states mm. that have legalized it, uh, Washington and Colorado. So the world is evolving. And we also believe that it is a problem, access that is too easy for teenagers, and we think that uh, our solution would make it harder for those young people to get it, mm -hmm. and it would also be more in keeping with uh, the, the times. Uh, as you said, uh, the devils is in the detail. So yes. uh, they, can we can we assume that uh, the as as as, you, as we said uh, the uh, the next election is approaching? Would there be more details coming out of how you your party would propose to yes. regulate it? I'm sure that will be the case, and I agree mm -hmm. with you. The devil is in the details. We need provincial cooperation, just as mm -hmm. we have provincial role in selling alcohol and cigarettes. The same yeah. would be true in this case. So there are a lot of details to be worked out, and I am sure by the time the, of the next election, we will have more details to give Canadians. But in the meantime, what I'm saying is this message from the Conservative Party is the opposite of the truth, because mm. far from making it more accessible to young people, we would make it less accessible. Yeah, really, the whole issue is really how we regulate it to serve the purpose of uh, not being so totally out of control at this point. Absolutely, because as of today, it's out of control. Yes. And our system would bring some control and regulation to what is today out mm -hmm. of control, and I think that would make for an improvement. Yep, thank you so much. Well, I'm very happy to be here with Mr. John McCullough to do this long time. Of course, it's very short, but every time it's not enough. So, please remember some of the important things about the Sunday Night Talk. We'll see you next week. Thank you.